Hey guys, I'm Max, and today I'm going to teach you how to identify some of the squirrels of North America. I'm starting with squirrels because they are the most easily found mammals in North America, and I just really like squirrels, to be honest. But I do have plans to do videos on other groups of mammals and other species too later, so if you're interested in that kind of content, please hit subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the squirrels. We're starting off with the most well-known species of squirrel in North America, the Eastern Gray Squirrel. This guy is found all over the eastern United States and Canada. It has also been introduced to some western cities like Seattle and San Francisco, and also to some other continents like Europe and Australia. The typical form is the picture in the middle with a gray body and a white belly with some rusty patches all over. There are two other forms. One of them is pictured here on the right, and that's the melanistic form which is found mostly in Ontario, where I live. There is also a dark brown form found mostly in Louisiana. Next up is the eastern fox squirrel, which is also the species on the title slide. The typical form is a dark brown body with an orange belly, but there are several other varieties that I'll go over in a second. The eastern fox squirrel has a very similar range to the eastern gray squirrel, as it is found all over the eastern United States and has been introduced to many cities on the west coast. One interesting subspecies is the Delmarva fox squirrel, which is pictured on the left side of the screen. It's found in Maryland mostly, and can be distinguished from the eastern gray squirrel because it's bigger and much more pale gray without any of the rusty spots. There are also several forms of fox squirrel in the southern states which look different from the typical form, such as those pictured in the middle of this slide though they all have either an orange belly or a black face to distinguish them from the eastern gray squirrels, which are the only other species within their range. The red-bellied squirrel is actually an introduced species from Central America that is only found on Elliott Key in the Florida Keys. There are no other squirrels on this island, so there is no need to actually identify it. If you see a squirrel there, it's this one. And now we have the tassel-eared squirrel, which is also known as Abert squirrel or the kebab squirrel, which are actually the two subspecies of the tassel-eared squirrel. It can be identified by the little tufts on its ears that you can see here. The tassel-eared squirrel can be found in the southwest in the states of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado, as well as to the south of Mexico. The Abert squirrel variety is found to the south of the Grand Canyon, and it's the picture in the top left. The kebab squirrel is found to the north of the Grand Canyon, and it's the two pictures on the bottom of the screen. In the northern part of the drainage, the kebab squirrel takes on the melanistic form that you can see on the right. And in the southern part of its range, it looks like the one on the bottom left. The Mexican fox squirrel looks very similar to the typical form of the eastern fox squirrel but they don't share the same distribution, so you don't actually have to distinguish the two. Looking at just the United States, the Mexican fox squirrel is only found in the Chiricoa Mountains in southeastern Arizona, though it's also found to the south in Mexico. The western gray squirrel is found all along the western coast of the United States, mostly in the more mountainous regions. It looks a lot like the eastern gray squirrel, but has no rusty patches, which is the main distinguishing feature. The Arizona gray squirrel is found in Arizona. Big surprise. It's the only gray tree squirrel in its range, so not difficult to identify, and it has a rusty patch on its back and in the center of its tail. Then there's this little guy, the red squirrel. Yeah, he's small, and he's red, as you might expect. He's found all over Canada, Alaska, the northern United States, and into the Appalachian and Rocky Mountains. There's also a form in the southwest that's called the spruce squirrel, and it's dark brown. You can see at the top right corner. These guys are very territorial and vocal. They actually sound a lot like some birds, but what's really going on is they're yelling at you in squirrel language to get off of their territory, and that they'd beat you up if they were a bit smaller. Douglas's squirrel is about the same size and temperament as the red squirrel, but it's found in the Pacific Northwest in Northern California, where there are no red squirrels. They look similar to red squirrels, but they're dark brown with an orange belly. And then we have the flying squirrels. There are actually two different species on this page. 
On the left is the southern flying squirrel, and on the right is the northern flying squirrel. And the way that you would identify them is that the northern flying squirrel is brown, and the southern flying squirrel is grayish brown. And there are other minuscule differences that you wouldn't be able to tell from a cursory glance, but uh, they include the northern flying squirrel is dark, has dark gray around its eye and a bushier tail than the southern flying squirrel. Also, the southern flying squirrel speaks in a southern accent. I'm, I'm just kidding about that part. They don't talk. Uh, the problem arises because they are nocturnal, so the color differences will be a bit more difficult to pick out. But thankfully, for the most part, their ranges don't overlap that much. Uh, areas where their ranges do overlap are in the Appalachian region and southern Canada, where I live. Uh, so I have to deal with that. But uh, you'll see the maps of the next few slides. The northern flying squirrel is found in Canada and Alaska into the northern United States, and then also in the Appalachian and Rocky Mountains to some extent. There are two different forms of the species that I'd like to go over, other than the normal form, which you just saw on the previous slide. One is the creamy brown form, which is found in the Appalachian region, and you can see that in the upper left corner. And the other is what many believe to be a new species, called the Humboldt flying squirrel, which you can see in the bottom picture and it's found in the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. And then there's the Southern Flying Squirrel, where there's not that much to go over. I just put a picture of the Southern Flying Squirrel flying, which is pretty cool. And also it's found in Eastern United States and Southeastern Canada. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. As I said before, if you liked the video and you thought it was informative, drop a like. And if you'd like to see some more tutorials on how to identify animals, then subscribe. My next videos will consist of other members of the squirrel family within North America, specifically chipmunks, then ground squirrels and marmots.